Uh, yet, after years of darkness, we've seen flickers of progress in these last several weeks. Uh, President uh, Thane Sein and the Burmese Parliament have taken important steps on the path toward reform. A dialogue between the government and Nanyang Suu Kyi has begun. The government has released some political prisoners. Media restrictions have been relaxed. And legislation has been approved that could open the political environment. So taken together, these are the most important steps uh, toward reform in Burma that we've seen in years. Of course, there's far more to be done. We remain concerned about Burma's closed political system, its treatment of minorities and holding of political prisoners, and its relationship with North Korea. Uh, but we want to seize what could be a historic opportunity for progress and make it clear that if Burma continues to travel down the road of democratic reform, uh, it can forge a new relationship with the United States of America. Uh, last night, I spoke to Aung Yang Suu Kyi uh, directly and confirmed that she supports American engagement to move this process forward. Uh, so today, I've asked Secretary Hillary Clinton to go to Burma. She will be the first American Secretary of State to travel to the country in over half a century. And she will explore whether the United States can empower a positive transition in Burma and begin a new chapter between our countries. That possibility will depend upon the Burmese government taking more concrete action. If Burma fails to move down the path of reform, it will continue to face sanctions and isolation. But if it seizes this moment, then reconciliation can prevail, and millions of people may get the chance to live with a greater measure of freedom, prosperity, and dignity. And that possibility is too important to ignore.